Hey guys, we used to do a series a long time ago called What's in Your Room? Because you can learn a lot about a person by what's in their room. So we'd go to the houses of different NBYG teens and we'd tour their room while they were away at school and then we'd show it and they would never know we were there. It was so much fun. We're going to do it again today, uh, but guess whose room we're in? We're in the room of Houston Sproles. This is, that's Houston right there. This one, him right here. Okay. And so we're in his room, but he's at school, but he's homeschooled, so he's here now. Okay, I didn't think that through all the way, so, but he doesn't know we're here, so we gotta be really quiet. But we're gonna go and see what's in Houston's room today, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be lots, lots of fun. All right, so come on, let's go. If you know Houston, one thing you know about him is that he's he's really smart. He's, he's a really bright kid, and so he's got a lot of cool you know things that you know smart people have in their well, like I did when I was a kid, uh, in their in their room, like this this map here, and like this is a, a map of the you know the the uh, solar interstellar neighborhood. Um, but look, th this is a map of stars, big stars like uh, like Sirius and uh, no, I'm, I'm not kidding. Uh, Alpha Centauri uh, and um, you know Betelgeuse and and uh, Majoris uh, and uh, Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger, big stars. <laughs> Glenn Close, <laughs> she's not that big anymore. But hey, one of the things that Houston has above his bed is a periodic table of elements, which is uh, awesome. I guess I don't I don't exactly know why you would have a periodic table of elements above your headboard on your bed and. You know, you know, I, I can think of one reason. I just figured it out. Watch. Uh, neon, argon, xenon, radon, tellurium, selenium, germanium, gallium, uh, copper, palladium. I can't believe this. We just now noticed we're here filming in the end of March. And it's like a blizzard outside. Check this out. It's unbelievable. It looks like we're in the middle of December. It's like it's Christmas time, which is pretty convenient because I'm pretty sure the Sproles still have their Christmas lights up. All right, let's see what's in here. We got oh cool. We have uh, you know, video games. You know where you you go throughout space and try to collect coins and and you know where you go and shoot and blow people's heads off and stuff. And and of course a ruler. Let's see. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here. We've got, whoa, look at this. Look at that, it's one trillion dollars. Yes. Looks like I'll be able to pay off my commitment to the 2020 vision after all. Let's see what, uh, oh, ooh, this is cool. Wonder what this is. Hey, this is really cool. Uh, Renee told us what was in here. Uh, she said, this is where Houston keeps his prize paper airplane collection with uh, record-breaking flight distances and times. These are awesome. I mean, who, who, who holds on to this? This is great. Look, 100-foot flight. My record 10-second flight, June 18th, 2011. Take that, Orville and Wilbur Wright. <laughs> these, are, these are great. But, when, oh, hold on. Oh, we have to, this is... This gun is terrible. I got, oh, before we keep going, oh, uh, oh. Okay, let's see what else is there. There's some other stuff. Let's go. Hey, we're going to check out uh, what's inside Houston's closet because this is actually where I had to hide out all of last night since I knew they were going to be in school here. Um, and uh, so let's, let's see what's inside in, in here. There's a lot of cool stuff in, in here, but man, it is freezing in here. Cause it's snowing outside. This is like, I wonder if he has any long johns or anything. Let's see. Huh. That looks warm, right? That's kind of warm. Uh, hey, Mike, uh, just give me, just take five. Give me a second. 
Okay. All right, that's much better. This is much warmer uh, in here. Oh, hey, Mike, you got to come and see this. This is great. Um, you, you remember Cabbage Patch Dolls? Y'all remember Cabbage Patch Dolls? Come and open your arms to a Cabbage Patch Kid. Here's a picture of Emma, Houston's older sister, and she's playing with her Cabbage Patch doll when she was a little girl. She's, oh wait, wait, no, that's, that, that's Houston. Oh, now this is cute. This is, everybody has these, right? It's a little growth chart where you record how tall you are. And well, first of all, there's no, there's no way that Houston is this tall. But you, you like to record the height of yourself or your siblings or, or, you know, your, your youth minister or, Uh, you know, Houston loves, he's got, uh, he loves Legos. He's got uh, a whole thing of Legos here. They're all, they're all, they're so, they're so neatly organized. It's so impressive. And uh, Lego kits, I mean, I, who, what kid doesn't love Legos, right? I, I love Legos when I was a kid. It was, oh, this is awesome. They got this, this is great. He's got this set right here. Check, check this set out. This is, this is really cool. It's like a big construction, like a, like a, We're here back again at the bedside table where uh, Houston has some a lot of cool books like uh, Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time. I, you know, I have no idea why somebody would keep a book like this beside their... Hey, I, I just saw this. I don't know exactly what this is over here, but like a like a parachute or a... Oh, wait, I know what this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here. Ooh, hold on. This will... Surely it's in the studs, right? Okay, let's try it out. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this because I got... I'm going to... Uh, here, maybe I stood up on the bed and then I lift up one leg. Okay, you're getting all this, right? Because I'm going to... I'm just going to swing my leg over on three, and then I should just, I, you know, ideally I should just smooth, slide, glide right into it. Just like that, just, whoosh, just like that. Okay, one, two, okay, three. Okay, all right, Mike, we're gonna have to cut because I'm seriously seeing stars. Okay, so we decided not to, to you know, try that because I just, we actually just found this. It says two, limit is uh, max weight 200 pounds. And I mean, while I, you know, clearly don't, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I just, look, we also found this. Never hang your hammock more than 18 inches above the ground. It's a clear, clear, I mean, so uh, that, oh, hey, wait, hold on, hold on. Look here. For that, that's like five. Uh, that's like five uh, rulers. Uh, yes, nine one one. I need the police. Oh, this is the police. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need to report something. Mm-hmm. Well. Uh, describe well. I would say that uh, Houston has a problem, but I promised I was going to make it this entire video without using that terrible joke. So uh, hammock violation. Well, I, I realize that depends on what your definition of emergency is. One thing I love about the Sproles house and Houston's room is it's full of brain teaser puzzles, like uh, like this one here, or you got, uh, or this this one, or um, I love I love this one, or or uh, there, this one. Um, although I'm, I'm pretty sure this is just a broken bolt from where some, you know, fat guy laid in a hammock in Houston's room. I, 
you know, I, I don't know. Uh, but my favorite is this one right here. You're supposed to get the starfish out from uh, connected to, to these fish and it's, this is not easy. Okay, this is the stupidest thing in this room. With the possible exception of this Lego Jar Jar Binks figure. I can't, there's got to be something in here that will help me figure this. Ooh. Oh, we have thinking putty. Let's, let's try this. How does this stuff work? Ah, this stuff is not helping at all. I do not feel one bit smarter. I, 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 I can't. But, I made a difference to that one. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. So, hey, Emma, good news. It looks like you're off the hook. Until next week.